Running, hugging face, GGUF models with a llama just got a whole lot easier. No longer do we have to write model files for each GGUF model that we want to play around with. Instead, we can call a llama run and pass in the URI of the hugging face model that we want to use. In theory, it works for all of the 45,000 GGUF models on hugging face. But from my experiments, that isn't always the case. So for example, this flux model doesn't work and neither does this Quen model. I'm not exactly sure why these models don't work, but it's possible that they aren't supported by Llama CPP, which is the underlying runner used by a Llama. It's also possible that some models don't define a chat template in their GGUF metadata, and so we'd have to do some more work to get those models to work. In general though, I found the text generation models published by Botovsky seem to be pretty good. So let's try out this version of Mistral AI's Ministral model, which was released earlier this week. So we can type in alarma pull hf.co and then we can go to the model page and copy the model name and then paste it in. And if we hit return, it will now pull down that model to our machine if we don't already have it. Alternatively, we can do alarma pull and paste in the URL of the model page directly and it will do exactly the same thing. Or we can click on use this model, then alarma, and you can see the whole command is there. Now you can also choose the quantization that you want. So you can see there are a whole lot of different ones you can choose. The default is Q4 underscore K underscore M. So let's select that one. And then we'll paste that into the terminal and let's have it write us a poem about local AI. And you can see it's kind of gone away and it's doing that. And if we then look at a Llama LS, which lists all the models that we've got on our machine, you can see at the top, all three ways of pulling that model down have the same ID and therefore refer to exactly the same model. And if you need more control over the model template or the model parameters, you can still use the model file approach. So check out this video if you want to do that.